That's a good clap. So how do you want to start? Just say, hi, my name is Madeline. Carla. Francesca. I'm Abby. I'm Amelia. I'm Holly. And, and this, this is a letter to my younger self. Dear Abby. Dear little Holly. Dear 15 years old Francesca. You worry too much. This hasn't changed. You're smart, but it's okay to not be the smartest person in the room. I know you can sometimes feel a little bit like the odd one out. It's not easy being the only girl in the class. And you're questioning everything, doubting yourself and your abilities. Was this the right choice? What am I doing here? Am I good enough? Can I do it? I'm here to tell you over 10 years later that absolutely yes, you can. Please feel free to either listen to or ignore this advice, uh, but I would recommend taking it on board as you do have a very cool job now, so I promise it is worth listening to. It will take you a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifices, and a lot of nights on book, but you will succeed. Failing university classes and inevitably dropping out of uni doesn't make you a failure, and it isn't going to make you go nowhere in life. In fact, it does the opposite. It is also important to be real with you for a moment, uh, just to let you know that being a woman in STEM is not an easy role to undertake. Some people will simply underestimate you and belittle you just because of your gender. When someone tells you that you're a bad software engineer because you're a female, just know that they are wrong and you will eventually get your first class honours in software development. But don't look back for their approval when you do finally achieve. And don't worry about that maths exam. The retake goes much better. Caring too much, your attention to detail, that urge to fix every single problem you find, is what now makes you perfect for your job. Trust that if you continue to focus on improving yourself and making progress day by day, comparing yourself to yesterday before comparing yourself to others, you will pass and things will only get better from here. Don't let the two sides of you be in opposition. You can buy the pink screwdriver set and still fix a car. Please remember that when climbing a mountain to reach your goals and passions, it will never be a smooth climb. You must sometimes go downwards in order to progress upwards. During these moments, you should remember that you have an incredible support system around you who can and want to help you. And also look how far you've come. You know, just under two years ago, you didn't truly know what engineering was or that it existed, to be perfectly honest. It's funny because if you look back at your childhood now and your love of Brio and train tracks and Lego and the Royal Navy Challenge, generally building things, it should have been really obvious that you wanted to be an engineer. But coming from a non-technical family meant it wasn't actually obvious until sixth form. And now you work in Formula One. Think of that. I know right now you likely find that almost impossible to believe, but it does actually happen. You will make mistakes, but to become a good engineer, making mistakes will serve you well and help you grow. But most of all, you will expect a moment of joy when you will be cheering in front of the TV, seeing a car that has something of yours. If only you knew how useful that time was fixing up the family car with Dad. If only you knew how watching Button win for McLaren in Canada in 2011 would go on to shape your life. Never give up and keep pushing through the hard times. There is a lot of them, but they will shape you into the strong person you are today. So for now, keep at it, keep going, trust in your own abilities, your determination and your work ethic, and the rest will follow. Never lose the passion that sets you apart, and especially the lights that your eyes have when you watch a race. Madly in love with this sport, and those who are lucky to do a job that is not a job. It is their passion. I hope it feels like we've made it. But from here, we're just getting started. The best is yet to come. Stay curious, you Lego-obsessed little one. Holly. Love, 26 years old, Francesca. Love from Abby. <laughs> Lots of love, Amelia. Love from a somewhat older Madeline. <laughs>